Yes. Well, in addition to contacting us for prayers for right. healing, we also have people who have questions, Pat, so let's, right, let's bring it on it. in the time we have let's left. This is a viewer who says, the book of Romans says, owe no man anything but to love him. I know this means stay out of debt. What if you have a credit card and know each month that you can pay it off with no interest or fees? Does the scripture mean that or just do not put yourself in the hole? Well, I think basically the idea is don't, don't get encumbered and uh, uh, if you use a credit card as a cash management yeah. tool, I mean, you, you, you're, you're actually playing with somebody's money. They're giving you a free loan for 30 days, and so <laughs> why not take advantage of it? I don't think that's the kind of debt. Mm -hmm. It's the debt where you're in trouble. You, 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 you have you obligations exceed your your resources, and uh, that's the problem. You have become a slave to the debt. That mm -hmm. that's a different mm -hmm. thing. All right. Okay, this is Tim who says, I've been growing far from God and my family's far from God. I want to change my lifestyle and be the spiritual leader in my house. How can I find the way back to Jesus and how can I help my little brother? All right. Um, you know, we are free moral agents. People keep asking me, how can I be a better person? Well, you can be a better person by turning yourself over to the Lord and beginning to follow His commandments. You have free will and you need to exercise it. Um, I would say, though, that I think there comes a time I'm a great believer in in getting apart with the Lord, you and a Bible and a yellow pad, the pen, and writing down the sins that you know you've committed. And then each one of them, you ask God's specific forgiveness, Lord, I have done this, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and go down the list. And when you get through and you say, I renounce these sins, and Satan, I renounce you and the forces of evil. And then you take that list that you made and you burn it. And then you begin to thank God and start living for him from that moment on. All right. Okay, this is Valerie who says, the fallen angels are called sons of God. What does the only begotten son mean? Why did Jesus' disciples never call him by the name Jesus? Is Jesus an abbreviation? Um, the uh, word in the Bible for, uh, it's, you know, you're, we translate only begotten. It's in the Greek is monogonese, uh, which means the only existing, mm -hmm. you know, he's mm -hmm. the only existing, monogonese, the only existing uh, son of God. And Jesus is that. He, he used the term son of man, the son of man, the son of man, the son of man. And, uh, but they, they did say, we know that you are the Son of God. They, they, they said, you are Master and God. But Jesus means, the, the name means Jehovah Savior, Yehoshua, uh, which is Hebrew, is Jehovah Savior. And uh, nothing wrong with that name. It's a good name. <laughs> but, you know, they, why they, they use certain names at certain places, I don't know. But uh, take the Bible and what it is. I can't explain to you who wrote it and why they did it. All right. Well, we leave you with today's Power Minute from 2 Corinthians 1.20. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ.